Thank you, Samori. 11 minutes past seven. This is Wake Up Call WBAI New York. According to new census figures released on Tuesday, metropolitan New York is being rapidly reshaped as Latinos, Asians, blacks and immigrants are surging into suburbs. That's one of the findings from what's been described as the single largest data release in the Census Bureau's history, providing a look for the first time since 2000 at a variety of characteristics, including income, race, immigration, commuting habits for people in areas as small as just a few square blocks. It's based on samples taken from from 2005 to 2009, the five-year American Community Survey, which is separate from the 2009 survey. Now, joining us to um, talk more about the uh, uh, census figures released on Tuesday and what they reveal about the changing landscape, the changing population landscape of New York City, is Professor John Iceland, Professor of Sociology and Demography at Penn State University. Professor Iceland, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Call. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for um, for joining us. So, um, what this is interesting that the single largest release of um, data in the whole of the Census Bureau's history. So, just lay out for us what these figures reveal about the changing uh, visual population of New York City. Sure. Um, well, as, uh, as as you mentioned in the introduction, uh, uh, New York uh, continues to uh, become more diverse. Uh, continues to draw uh, immigrants from all over the world. And what we're seeing also is that immigrants, uh, you know, whereas once they uh, settled in, in the middle of the city or the central city, now they're uh, moving to suburban communities. So the suburbs themselves are becoming a lot more diverse than they used to be. This is in New York and across the country as well. One of the findings going through the um, report and the um, uh, articles around its release was that um, the decades of white flight since 2000 had actually started to ease and uh, the portion, the proportion of non-Hispanic white New Yorkers has changed. Tell us a bit about that. Uh, well, sure. Um, uh, certainly, uh, you know, in, in many cities and including New York, there are a lot of New York, uh, uh, white New Yorkers who, uh, are moving back to the city. But, uh, the suburbs themselves, you know, are becoming more diverse. Uh, whereas, uh, let's say 30, 40 years ago, you had suburbs that were, uh, almost entirely white. Now that's not the case. Uh, in fact, if you were to think of white flight, where would, uh, whites flee to? They'd probably flee all, uh, outside the city outside the metropolitan area altogether. Uh, but these days, you know, there are more, more places are, are diverse and, and, and uh, diverse and stable, much more than they used to be. Um, and so let's talk about the ways in which um, different portions of the population have, have raised or decreased their presence across um, New York City. I know that um, the proportion of Hispanic residents has actually um, um, increased. Tell us a bit about that. Sure. Um, well, uh, immigration from Latin America, you know, continued. You know, it's it's something that's been going on for decades, and and we certainly see it uh, even in the 2000s, and uh, even in sort of uh, tougher economic times. Though it might have slowed a, a bit in the last couple of years. So uh, Hispanics um, are continue to come in, into New York City. Sometimes it's different groups than in the past. Whereas, uh, let's say, uh, New York has historically had a uh, a sizable Puerto Rican population. Now there's a growing uh, Mexican population uh, as well. And they're settling again, not just in in parts of, of the five borough area, but, it, but right in the suburbs. Uh, but the proportion of blacks has declined. Explain that. Uh, let's see. Well, um, I don't think it's necessarily that blacks are, are leaving the metropolitan area altogether. Um, but I think it's more uh, their share changes in part because the share of other groups is increasing. So not only do we have a growing Hispanic population, but also a growing Asian population in New York. Uh, and so I know when I think about uh, New York City, I always think of a city full of cultures and colors and, and accents and um, um, flavors. It has a whole style that, that, that represents all these different spaces and places, but it's still very rooted in um, New York. Given that this is the largest release of, um, of data in the whole of Census Bureau's, Census Bureau's history, looking at the entire landscape, how does it just reflect for us what the, the changes um, turn New York into, and what do they reflect about New York? Hmm. 
That's a good question. I mean, New York is, you know, it's a, it's a city of immigrants, and it's been like that through uh, much of its history. What's interesting about New York, too, it's a, it's a city of ethnic neighborhoods as well. So, you know, while so far we've been talking about in growing, growing diversity and, and there are more neighborhoods that are diverse themselves, uh, New York is in many ways still a, a mosaic. So you do have these sort of ethnic concentrations in, in certain areas. And, uh, and and we still see that. I mean, actually, when you compare New York to other cities uh, uh, across the country, it's in many ways, all, um, although very diverse, uh, pretty segregated as well. Um, and uh, and neighborhoods have their own flavor, as, as you were saying. And, you know, I, I don't think that's going to change anytime real soon either. Any major surprises from the um, figures? Um. Not, not really. I mean, in, in some ways, it, it shows some con, uh, continuation of, tra- uh, of trends. It's you know, growing diversity. Uh, still, you have a lot of ethnic neighborhoods. Um, the long-term trend um, that I, I mentioned a bit before is also uh, a big decline over time in, in the number of just, uh, you know, wholly white neighborhoods. That now, uh, in every corner of New York, you, you see uh, some measure of diversity, or not every <laughs> corner, but in a much uh, a greater array of neighborhoods than, than we used to. Census figures just uh, released. John Iceland, Professor of Sociology and Demography at Penn State University. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. 718, this is Wake Up Call.